we're going to create this background loop animation in Friction 2D with simple steps. So let's get started. So I have this stroke on Friction 2D. It's a just it's just a path with two nodes. We're going to center the pivot now. And I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and then I'm going to rotate it. Now I'm going to select both of them and go to path and then union and just gonna make a union to these paths as you can see. And so now we are going to apply a path effect which is going to be duplicate and then we are going to change the translation a little bit and make the y axis to 0 and the x translation well the translation is working uh, kind of opposite so let's make it like this you know and then we are going to increase the count number to 25 the maximum we're gonna make sure that there is no gap between these strokes now we're gonna make another duplicate effect this time we're gonna copy it on the we're gonna copy it on the y-axis increase on the y-axis so where I'm going to do that and increase the count number to maximum and now we are almost done with this path and now I'm going to place it on the canvas so we can animate it so let's align it to the scene And then I'm going to add another duplicate effect. This time we're going to duplicate on the y-axis, but we're gonna keep the count number to one. Okay, so we're almost done with positioning this, and now we're going to animate the y-axis. Another from here, and move it like this. So the first animation is done, you can see how easy it was. Now for the second loop animation, we are going to add a outline base effect. So let's do this, let me show how to do it, right click, outline base effect and then we are going to choose sub path effect. Now we are going to trim the outline, uh, trim the path uh, and make sure the path wise is checked. And it's gonna work correctly now as you can see and we're gonna use the offset to make it like this make it to your liking however you like on your to your preference as you can see the second loop animation is done it was very easy to do so and we can animate the offset the minimum and maximum length to make it more appealing so I'm gonna animate the offset And as you can see we have created three different animation just by using these simple effects and these simple steps just so you know we can animate air any properties of this path so the possibility is endless it's up to you it's completely up to you you can animate the width of the stroke to make it more beautiful make it more different make a new animation out of it so it's up to you now for the third animation loop animation we're gonna make a circle with the circle tool and we're gonna do the same that we did to the path apply duplicate effects and then we're going to use this path effect yeah that's the same steps to we're gonna apply and this time I'm going to make the trim make sure it's pathwise and I'm going to animate the offset this time And we are done with this animation tutorial so that was it for this video I hope this video was helpful and it will be useful on your projects so thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe this channel subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one bye bye